Hello everybody, welcome back to another LEGO City update. Jordan here, actually Jose's here too, she's right over there. Today we're going to be working on revising our downtown core once again. It's all changing. No, I'm just kidding. It's not all changing, but we've got uh, three new buildings that are going to be introduced into the downtown core. Also, we have plans for another building that's going to be built in the near future. And of course, there'll be many more to come after that as well. So today we're going to be adding these three buildings. I'll show them to you right now. Now I will admit not all three of these buildings are complete, but we're working on it. Here is the arcade. This is going to be done relatively soon. It's looking pretty fresh. It's got a really nice sign that Mrs. Brixie made there. And it's sort of got like an arcade vibe, like a vintage arcade vibe. Now, the reason we haven't finished building it yet is because we just haven't. I don't know. <laughs> no, we've got the arcade games and we're starting to build all of those. I think we've got two more to build and then we're going to start to uh, do a layout uh, for the interior of this thing here and get sort of like the slides going and the rock climbing wall and all the different games and sort of get that going. But we may as well make room for it in the Lego City. Also, we have this building right here, which is the Jazz Cafe. It's an alternate build of the assembly square from rebrickable.com. This thing looks so amazing. It's a corner building. It's just glorious. I'm sure you saw my review of that that came out the other day. And then we have Jose's Bakery here, which is also inspired by a rebrickable model with a full custom interior. And that sits on a 32 by 32 base plate, but wait a minute, half of it's open. We're gonna to have to figure out what to build there as well, but we may as well make space for these in the city as they'll be done right away and we'll have to integrate them into the city. So that's probably one of our top priorities is to find out where they're gonna go. So the exciting thing about this LEGO City update is when it's done, our next priority is going to be the amusement park. Hey, so there's something to look forward to. Once we get these buildings placed, we're going to build the amusement park. I'm really excited for that. Get all those rides moving and all that jazz. It's going to be a blast. Anyways, we've got uh, a little bit of space open here in the downtown core. So Jose and I surely don't even know what we're going to be doing to integrate these buildings. But we've got a half base plate right over here by the Spring Lantern Festival that's open. Also, we've got a full base plate over here. This actually has a dog park in it, or on it, a small one. And there's also a bus stop, a newsstand, and of course, the ice cream guy. Selling ice cream in the city. Over here, we've got our mini modulars. Also, the haunted house. I'm not sure if we want those mini modulars there or the haunted house. They might be moving as well. Then we actually have a full 32 by 32 base plate open right over here. Actually, no, that's actually 48. That's where I intended to put the music club, but unfortunately it didn't fit. That was another uh, alternate build for the assembly square. And I made a miscalculation and it ended up not fitting there. And that's why we sort of deconstructed it and built the jazz cafe. So we've got some shuffling around to do here. So we can try and figure out where we're going to put those three buildings. Also, we've got to make room for another 32 by 32 base plate, which is the friend's apartment rebrickable model as well. So we've got a lot of thinking to do today and a lot of shuffling around to try and make that work. So we did a test scenario by just placing the jazz cafe right there beside the police station. Not really digging it. It's decent. But after further consideration, we've decided that we're not going to do that. I don't know. It just doesn't really fit the vibe there because the donut shop goes in a little bit. Meaning that you can see a little bit of the side of the jazz cafe. So we've come up with a new plan and it's going to involve a lot more work. And it involves shuffling a bunch of modular buildings around. And it also involves switching Jose's bakery mock or rebrickable model onto a 16 by 32 base plate which is right there so she's going to do that and then we're going to place that in the lego city also we're going to be removing two modulars from the city actually only one modular that's in two separate parts and we're going to be converting that into a different rebrickable model as well 
So we've got to pull those buildings from here. We've got to do a bunch of moving and a bunch of retiling and oh, it's going to be exhausting. But we've got some good plans and they're going to come to light right now. So of course, when making any big changes to the Lego city, we've got to pull out our module table. And that's where Mrs. Brixie hides when we're filming videos <laughs> underneath the table. But uh, we've made our first big change here. We filled the open 16 by 32 base plate right by side uh, Spring Lantern Festival. So we've actually slid Spring Lantern Festival over so it's right in the corner position there beside the Parisian restaurant. We transferred the bakery onto a 16 by 32 base plate and positioned it right beside the Disney costume shop alternate build. Now we are going to take some stuff out of the city to make some room and also move the dog park. It will no longer be in that corner position. All right, so this is the modular building that we pulled out of the city. This is actually a pet shop that I turned into a beer store but never really completed. And there's a really cool rebrickable model that we're gonna build. So I've brought the two modulars up here to our kitchen table because this is where Jose sort of parts things out and builds Lego because there's not a whole lot of room down there for both of us because our Lego city takes priority over building space. So she's gonna start parting those out so we can build a rebrickable model, which looks pretty cool. Check it out. It's actually done by the same designer who did the alternate build for the Assembly Square, which is the European Jazz Cafe, which we're still gonna place in this Lego City update. But when you click on his name here, which is Inyong Bricks, it'll bring you to all of his builds. And this is the one right here. So it's the uh, 10218 Pet Shop Alternate Build. And this is actually a bookshop. I know we already have a bookshop in the city, but you know what? When you go to like small towns, there's multiple bookshops. Notice that when you're in Lethbridge the other day, there's bookshops all over the place. So it makes sense. This is what we're going to be building using the pet shop up there. I think it looks great. And it's definitely better than having three identical buildings. You know, we'll spice it up a bit with this bookshop. So we're going to buy these instructions and we might build this live or we might build it upstairs just depending on what our schedule is looking like. Although we do have a very busy schedule because August is going to be insane with Lego releases. But it looks really good. And that's the other custom buildings in which he has created all together. So I actually took a little bit of a break from uh, working on the Lego City today. And we built the first two bags, there's four bags total, of the Technic Dom's Dodge Charger from Fast and Furious. This thing is sweet. Check it out. It rolls. The pistons. The chain in the front there. Also, you can steer it with this gear on the back. Just right there. And right here, when you pull this out, there's actually a wheelie bar. So that sort of locks into place there so that it can do a wheelie. There's actually a little bit of, a little tiny gears in the bottom there, They're like wheels. So you can actually roll it while it's in the wheelie stance. So let's go see what Jose was up to while I was building the set. So take a look at this. Jose parted out the pet shop. So now we're ready to rock and roll on the rebrickable model of that bookshop. So she did a fantastic job up here while we were doing that. Look at that. That's multitasking. Woohoo! So we've made some adjustments to the Lego City in which we're really happy with. And there's definitely a lot more to come. And we've actually made some space for future changes as well, which is definitely a good thing. So you'll notice that some of the buildings have shifted around and moved. So like we saw earlier, there's the bakery there beside the Parisian restaurant with the Spring Lantern Festival slid over there. You'll notice that there's a building over here that's different. And that's actually those little townhouses, one of which we actually removed and have now parted out. And also there's our arcade. Now the arcade, we actually have to make some adjustments to. I was just working around that pole there. But we've noticed that we made our sign bulge out a little bit too far. So we actually have to shorten each side so it doesn't bulge out that far. Because I had to just make a small adjustment to the sign 
while placing it next to a modular building. So we've got to fix that up. Also, you'll see that there's still an open 32 by 32 base plate right there. So our intention would to be to probably put, I don't know, a corner building on a 16 by 32 by those townhouses there and then another modular building of a custom build beside the arcade, something of that nature, just to fill that area in there. Not sure how I feel about those little townhouses there, but I think it works for now. Now we decided to place the uh, alternate build of the assembly square, which is the jazz cafe over here in this corner position where the dog park used to be. I'm just gonna make my way around here. And that's right there. So there's the jazz cafe. It's next to the bookshop and also beside the corner garage. And now we have this giant space open right over here. You can see we've placed the dog park right here where this ice cream truck is in that ugly gap with the white spot, that is going to be uh, where we put the alternate build for the pet store or pet shop, which will be another bookshop. So that's where we're gonna put there. And then we have a large space open right here, which is actually a base plate and a half. We put the newsstand and the bus station right there. And we are going to build the friends apartments, which are actually a base plate and a half as well. So. We'll be able to maybe shuffle buildings around here on Pop Culture Street to accommodate the Friends Apartment rebrickable model, which we plan on doing in the near future, like right away. I think we're just waiting on a PAB order online. We've already received all our BrickLink orders for that, and we have all three sets that go into it. That's one Friends Apartment and two Central Perks, and then we're just waiting for a Lego order to show up. So yeah, whenever that shows up, we're gonna get built in that. And Jose already parted out the pet shop so that we can actually build that second bookshop and put it right here where I can temporarily put the ice cream, dude. <laughs> so that'll look really good when we get that all filled in. Now, there was some buildings over there where we temporarily placed the arcade and those townhouses, and that was the mini modulars. Where did they go? Well, they're still actually in the Lego city. They're over here now. Don't mind the mess of the zoo area but they are right here. This makes a lot of sense to have them here because it's right by the beach. So these are your mini modulars. It's like a, a deli. There's also a, a bike shop and stuff like that. So it makes sense to have it right close to the beach here. I know they're facing away, but that's reality. Some, some things are gonna be facing the opposite way. And I think they look good here. Obviously we still have to do a little bit of tile work between the buildings and also right here so that you can go onto the boardwalk here. I'll have to maybe make like a little blockade here. Unfortunately, there's the edge of the table, but <clears throat> there's no stopping that. Hey, look, there's Sebastian. Hello, Sebastian. But yeah, we'll have to uh, do a little bit of blending here. Just gotta decide if that's where we want it for sure. Also recently, I just tossed this little Toy Story set here. Look, there's Rex and the alien. And we'll have to make like another mini modular and place it there to fill in that area. So this is like our little mini modular area just across from the zoo when we build that. I will say that this whole area, like I've been saying for quite some time, this whole area stretching from essentially like the Ninjago area, all of these tables essentially, <laughs> leave it at that, are all a work in progress that need to be worked on and developed so that one day they will look as good as the downtown core. But our next project after finishing our downtown core here, <clears throat> which we made some great progress on today, will be of course working on the amusement park and that actually starts this week. So everybody make sure you stay tuned for some more LEGO City updates coming out here in the near future as we continue to develop our LEGO City. Remember to like, subscribe and stay tuned for some more great stuff. Peace out.